13 minutes past six and the ferry's due at 6.15 and it's just cancelled. I've just cancelled the ferry so I'm stuck in Southern Ireland. I'm supposed to get out of here. I'm alive. Good morning folks, welcome back, so we're tired, uh, tired, I'm very tired, I've woken up now, hello, hello and welcome, welcome to wherever I said a word before that I've forgotten already, <coughs> I couldn't see because there's loads of trees here, but uh, I just walked in there to, to, to basically see what time, what, if we can come in and, and then I realised they've got four of their own wagons there waiting to be loaded or waiting to leave um, so I felt a bit silly then, like obviously it's obvious that I can't go in yet because they're there but I couldn't see because of the trees anyway he says yeah give us ten minutes and uh, he's come in and said we're reversing, we're driving because whatever's easiest I thought well that's not the answer I was looking for <laughs> And um, what, what would you like me to do? Driving or reversing? <laughs> not, not leave up. To, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll just drive it because it looks like it can turn around no problem. So, first drop. For some reason, the first drop is at the last, second to last page. Two, three, four pallets coming off there. Two off the next one. And then the one after that, which is the B&Q, is all loose stuff. So that's going to be fun. Right, that's us done. First drop of the day complete. Happy days. Exit 1 M50 E1 towards southbound. You know, I watched some of Ned Kelly's videos and uh, it might be the stretch of the road, I'm not sure, but he's, he points out what people do on this road. And it's not much different from any other road in, 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 um, in the rest of the UK, really. But um, it is noticeable more on this road, at this stretch. But I suppose it's like in Birmingham. It's more noticeable in Birmingham. People just haven't got a clue what they're doing. Or they do, they just don't care. Right, I'm coming off of this one. After 800 yards, take the exit, 1 M50 E1 towards southbound, then keep left. I think we're right next to the airport. I think, I'm, yeah, I think we're very close to the airport here actually. Right, we're caught the motorway and I do believe we are there. <laughs> I think it's just... Not these set lights. The next set of lights and then turn left, I think. And I think we're there. St. Margaret's Road. It is on your right. Ah. Come on. Do you want? I can't go straight in on that. Speed enforcement zone. Oh, there's a bloody van there now.
Right, he unloaded me here because he said it was easier. So like, yeah, okay. So he's, he's gonna back me across the street and away we go. So is that you done for days? Like, no. <laughs> Just gonna uh, point the trailer in the right direction. Thank you very much. You too. After 600 yards, turn left, Charlestown Place. Ah, he's a nice guy, wasn't he? I spoke to a young lad first, he didn't understand a word I said. <laughs> Sorry mate, it's my Mancunian accent. 10.30, so it's not too bad. I like this. Red light, but caution light so you can go through. There's B and Q. No idea what it stands for. I'm sure I've Googled it at some point. Right now, this stuff's got to come off by hand. I'll try and get the head cam on one of the one of the one of the deliveries. Probably not this one. I want to catch up on time, really. Wheels locked up then. I'll send up the end of this racking, okay. I've got a Swiss on now. That was about 50, 50 barrels. Right, where do I turn around? Here, I'm guessing. That's one being queued on. The rest are all being queues now, but this guy was quite nice here. This is the being queue where uh, I'm not sure if Daz has mentioned it, but he got hit in the head by one of the wheelbarrows. 
He wearing that grumpy in the end, he was actually quite nice. This guy. time lapse instead of actually speaking to the camera so that is leffy done next is tall light to late to late to late to late t-a-l-l-a-i-g-h-t then athlone spit it then limerick then cork let's go right last one for dublin i can see the side for being key so it must be on this retail park here on the right yeah, to see it. Turn right, Belgar Road, then you've reached point. your destination. It looks like I'm going to be done way, way too early. The, uh, so, I've just put in Athlone, then it's Limerick, then it's Cork. Cork is not so... The following day, at 9am, the one for Limerick is 5pm. But I will get there way before that. It's, it's okay to deliver early on the, on the same day, but not a day early. So I can't. So I'm going to go to Cork really and then just wait for them to open at nine. Get that tips off and then wait around for the boat, which I forgot what time it's at now, but I'll find out. Right, that's done there. Now we're off heading west. So it's about an hour and 45. Got two hours and 40 of driving, so it's no problem getting there with the driving time I've got. Then we'll have a break there and uh, crack on. Right, that's that done. In the back side, because you have to do it through the side, uh, through the back of the truck and not the side. Anyway, I've not put in the next destination yet. I'm just going to get out of here and then. Uh... Right, what I've been doing to find the addresses is I've just been Googling it, find it on the map and then find it on my map. Because um, uh, every time I type something in, it doesn't seem to find it. I don't know if I mean, I don't know if I'm typing in an area or a road name. Some of them I just don't have a clue. Right, that's two hours away, so 4.30. I thought it was less than that, to be honest. Uh, so, booking time is five, uh, 4.37, so booking time is 5 o'clock, so it's about on time, really. You will so, arrive at your destination at 4.37 p.m. Let's crack on for that. Uh, I'm not sure there's a motorway or just a normal road, I think. It's just normal roads, so I think there's a motorway at all. So, we're, at, we're right smack in the middle of Ireland at the moment, and... Uh, we're heading south, southwest. Ah, nah, we're not on the motorways. I, I think it's, I think it's gonna be this kind of road. Yay! Looks like it is in the middle, maybe? Question mark? Good parking here. Okay, in the loading area. That took me 
and I say me because no one came out well one person came out eventually but I'd already stacked all the wheelbarrows in twos so uh, yeah there must be a busy store this one they said I could spin around up here they said I could park outside the gates I'm not sure uh, if I want to actually <laughs> Oh, could have spun around there, down there, it's about the same size. See you, buddy. At the end of the road, turn left. And I've got a sweat on. I really have. Right, what can't break? Time, 1740, 39. 1740. Oh. Hopefully, yeah, please let breeze come through. Not really. I'll open the back door on the trailer. Chances are, if someone sees the back door open on the trailer, they won't walk down there because they think there's nothing in it. I mean, there's about, there's, a, there's some wheelbarrows, but I mean, good luck getting them out without me noticing because it'll be loud. In fact, they won't be able to anyway because it's actually netted. I'll show you in the morning how it's netted. Um, so you can't, you'd have to undo both curtains and remove the netting completely. I need a step ladder for that, or another internal strap. I should have to do that as well, I have to use an internal strap as a, as a ladder. Right, I'm going to bed. No, I'm not, I'm going to get some meat and then, something to eat and then go to bed. Bloody knackered. Good morning, everybody. I've just done a daily check of what, before I close the doors, I'll show you what I'm carrying. What's left of what I'm carrying? So, this is obviously full, it was all the way down here, and this is a cargo netting that keeps it all to the back wall. Uh, so, there's about 40 wheelbarrows there, it doesn't look, look like there's 40, but there's about 40 wheelbarrows plus. Uh, some bits, there's something else in the bag, I don't know what it is, wheels or whatever. But yeah, uh, I've had different types, uh, but that's pretty much what it is. So, I read these nets work is yeah, you, you hook it up yourself up there to one of these internals, pull internal forward, try and get them equal. Obviously, this one's not equal at the moment, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's it, and then you hook them up at the bottom. So, that's, that's, that's all I'm carrying really, wheelbarrows. The way they're stacked though, obviously, um, they've got scope for falling. They, they will fall. <laughs> um, I did a little trick, I, I instead, instead of like completely removing, what you normally do is you remove one side of this, and then you can, you can just like pull them all out, but there's a few that was loose, so I just left the net up, but moved it back a bit, and then when when the something did fall, it fell into the net, and not me. And let me just show you a little trick, actually. If you ever need, because um, obviously you can't reach up there, little trick is, probably not the best example on this trailer, but, you just move as high as possible and you put your foot through it like that. I'm not sure the camera can pick it up or not. Put your foot through it and then knee, put your knee between them. This is what I do, I squeeze there and then pull up. And yeah, it means you are swinging around, but if you've got something that you're able to hook onto, that's fine. I, I use that for getting things that can't reach whatever. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying you should do that, I'm not, sure that, I'm not saying that's safe. That's the way I do it. 
I'm not saying, in fact, I'm going to say don't do it. I'm just showing you the way I do it. I don't want you falling <laughs> and blaming me. Right. Another daily check. I did find a defect. Oh, I can't, it must be a, we've got the, sorry, the light not working, but it must be something with the, with the wires because working, 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 not working, not working. So, something going on between these two, uh, but I don't know. I have no, I'm no idea to be honest. I've had a look under there, I've followed the wire around. So, can't see any brakes in here, anything like that. So, I'll just write it down, make a note of it. Are we ready to go? We're gonna go to where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to uh, Cork, then Fishguard. Get this truck a good clean tomorrow. Bye Limerick, it was nice to see ya. Right, let's get going. Welcome to Cork, where everybody drives like a nutter. It's just the same as any other city really, but um, yeah. Everyone mad dash to get to work, to not want to be there. I kind of took a wrong turn. So now, now I'm exploring the uh, the area. <laughs> uh, yeah, I took the wrong turn off the, uh, off the motorway. So, and then I was in the wrong lane to get where I wanted to be and there was cars everywhere. So I was like, well, I can try and force my way across or indicate or whatever, but it's I'd, I'd rather just go around. Right, that is the last tip in Ireland done. So it's going to be a three and a half hour drive over now to where we're going. Um, I forgot the name of the town. <laughs> it's um, anyway. We're going from there to the fish guard. I, forgot, I just genuinely forgot the name of the town. Where's the paperwork? Where, where is my paperwork? I need that to get on the bloody boat. Nope. Ross Lair. That's the one I need. Right, we appear to be in the place I forgot the name of. <laughs> Ross Lair. That's it. Indicators. We should go to the orange booth. It's more yellow, but whatever. And there's no one in it. I'm just wondering if there's another booth somewhere. First one, two, and three. There's another box that's empty. Well, as it's only quarter to two, and I won't be getting dinner till probably about six, seven. I'm going to have some lunch. Now I have what's that chicken, chicken chasseur with mash. What's that one there? Sausage casserole with mash. Oh, these are not bad, you know, these naked burritos from Tesco. Um, mm, don't fancy that right now, actually. I'm probably going to have 
That's the only stuff that's not homemade is that because it's it's quite decent. It's not not well. There's obviously good crap in there, but not as much crap as you usually get. There's no fat in it, pretty much. Uh, I think I'll have the chicken. Ch mm, no, I'm fancying actually sausage casserole made at home by 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 the mothership. I know it's, it's good, isn't it? She looks after me, so. She makes it fresh. All the ingredients are fresh. Still frozen that underneath. Um, so that'll probably slide around until the ice melts underneath it. Takes about ten minutes. Um, takes about ten minutes from frozen in, in this microwave, but. Obviously, make sure it's piping out. If, you, if you're doing it yourself, make sure it's piping out. If you've got meat in there, otherwise, uh, could be getting a bit old. Now, I realise most a lot of people don't have microwaves in the wagon. I actually bought this microwave myself a long time ago because the price was decent, and I had it in the truck with me at Maxi, and they kept promising me they're going to get an Anderson cable so I can just plug it in. So it wasn't permanently fitted, but so I could plug it in. Um, kept promising it and never happened. So that microwave's done more miles in its box <laughs> than it has out of its box when working. Um, so when I came to Taylor's, so they've got a microwave there, can I fit it? He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So I left it. So I'll leave it in the truck for when you get a minute, no rush, whatever. Anyway, it came in the following Monday. So I plumbed in, ready to go. I was like, fantastic. Hello, I've just been told the ferry's cancelled and there's, there's nothing else, nothing nothing, nothing uh, today. Um, they don't know about tomorrow, so yeah, it, it can't dock, there's something wrong with it. Yeah. Not good, not good. It is now 13 minutes past six and the ferry's due at 6.15 and it's just cancelled, they've just cancelled the ferry, so I'm stuck in Southern Ireland, I, I'm supposed to get out of here. The, um, there may be another ferry, Irish ferries, I'm um, going to Pembroke, but I mean, every driver here is going to be on the phone now trying to get trying to get on that, so don't know. My plan has gone home, I've just called her at home, um, sorry, on the way home, so she's not actually home yet, uh, so we're just going to find out what's going on. Because, um, don't know, I mean I might end up having to go back up to Dublin, uh, yeah. Well my planner has pulled through, got my IPBN which is you need to travel, uh, even with an empty trailer, got me on the ferry and she knows Pembroke, because her partner is from Pembroke so um, she, she's found me a place to park, or a couple of places or options. I'm not looking to get driving, but I know that's what the ping is about. Um, so when I get off the ferry there, hopefully, she'll be able to go and park up wherever she's sent to me. Because uh, it is going to be it's a four hour, four hour crossing. Um, luckily, I've already had about two hours sleep while I was waiting for the other one. Well, I'm guessing that's the boat I'll be on then. Hopefully, uh, you get a meal voucher. I'll find out, if not I'll just have some, some food before I get on there. Uh, well, we're supposed to be sailing at 8.45, it's now 9.15, so I think we're just about to get on. More delays, yay! <laughs> Thank you. 
Right. It smells like burnt wood in here. That's blowing out cold air. I'm not impressed. How do we turn this up? Let's give it a bit of heat. Not impressed with this boat. With the staff actually, the boat's all right. Um, anyway, cabin. No window on this one, but whatever. Um, kind of like it, looks all right. Oh, the, that was, I thought that was a mattress. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so, same again. Another driver could come in here, but unlikely. There's only two bunks. And oh, there is bedding on the top one there. Um, I think all oh, this is unnecessary <laughs> for a cabin. Oh, it's locked. Does that cost extra? <laughs> I think this is like the Ryanair of, um, of boats. Um, light switch. Uh, what have we got here? Don't know what that is. No USB. A vanity light. Um, yeah, I'm not impressed. I'll tell you why. So on the uh, on the other boat, the staff was really friendly, very friendly, very nice, very pleased, thank you. Can I help you kind of thing. This one, from the guys down in the deck who were directing you where to go, they was rude, the way they spoke to you. Um, I went to reception to get a room. He looked at really disgusted, like, how dare you get a room? Uh, anyway, got the room. Not the easiest to find, if I'm honest. Uh, for some reason, the numbers are really weird. But anyway, I found it in the end. Um, went to the restaurant, ordered the same as what I ordered on the Stena. So it was chicken curry, chips. Um, there was no, there's no desserts left. There was no soft drinks available. The machine didn't work. Uh, there's no like pre you know you get like a like coleslaw or a salad all that was gone um curry was just like greasy water i ate the chips the chicken was pink inside so i'm just not impressed the woman who served me on the boat she was quite nice so the woman on the on the actual um restaurant she was she was nice she said hello what can i get you kind of thing everyone else just seemed to grunt um yeah the, apparently they do have free wi-fi here but there's no instructions anywhere how to get on it, it's got a password on it. So how is it free Wi-Fi, have you got a password for it? Maybe it's on the ticket, I'll have to check, but um, who knows? Uh, so yeah, not that impressed with Irish ferries, if I'm honest. Anyway, let's check out the bathroom, see what that's like. It's a bit smaller than the other one. Just come with a mop. Any soap? Oh, there's a bit. Uh, is the bowl clean? Yes. It's toilet paper? Yes. Get a free key with this one. Uh, when was that last clean? Because the light's not working with this camera, but it's dirty. I know it's not a five star hotel. <laughs> What's the shower curtain like? No mould on it, it's good. Don't know what the shower pressure's gonna be like yet, I'll let you know. Vent, you can turn it off, turn it on. So I'll leave that as it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the, this is me for, for the night. Well, I'll probably get me head down for an hour or two. Um, it's just not impressed with this, with this uh, Irish ferries at all.
forgot to put the truck on rest mode, so uh, that screwed my tackle card up. So I can't move anywhere until I've had nine hours rest. Even though I've had more than nine hours rest. Well, that's that's me parked. I'm not tired now. I have to have nine hours off, so I can't start work till what time is it? 1.30 now, so 8.30 in the morning. This lay-by that I'm in, there's a sign saying only parking between certain times. It doesn't say no overnight parking, but that's pretty much what it's saying. Um, so, if I get a ticket, I get a ticket. I'm just going to pass it on to the company because I ain't paying it. Not bothered. Um, yeah, didn't, uh, I thought I'd put it on break, didn't put on other work, so, uh, ferry mode was useless for it, if I'm honest, didn't, <laughs> it would have been fine if I put it back on break, and I didn't, normally this truck does it for you anyway, but, yeah, anyway, I got out of that uh, tricky situation where the two trailers were touching, um, the other driver, the the driver of the other wagon was still at the side of it and he was just, he was watching it and he was like, go that way, go that way for a little bit. I mean, I could see what I needed to do, but it was good to have someone else there to, because uh, it's about, <laughs> I was worried about us both ripping the buckles off each other's trucks. He couldn't move over, so he had to wait for me to move anyway, so, yeah. Bit tricky, got there though. Uh, professional. 